What's good, family? What's good, family? It's me, your boy, your urban sports guru. A lot of shit went down this weekend, and I'm going to wrap some of this up for y'all. But this video in particular, I want to holler about James Harden. And James Harden is my pick for MVP. But this is the reason why I'm not going to give up on him. Because his problems are fixable. And this is why I say all this. He keeps getting into these issues in these clutch situations because he does not make adjustments. Not only does he not make adjustments, he has a coach, Mike D'Antoni, who does not make adjustments. Now, what do I say about him not making adjustments? Um, if y'all watched, I don't know if y'all, whoever is a uh, subscribe. To ESPN, the detail by Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant's breakdown of James Harden is so spot on. Spot on. And he talks about how, and he shows the way he breaks down the pick and roll and all of that. And if you pay attention to the interview, those that follow me on Instagram, I reposted it that he did with Tracy McGrady. And he and T-Mac both said, this shit will not work in the playoffs. It won't. The problem with James Harden is he's doing, even before Dan Tony, if you paid attention to any Rockets game, majority of the time is James Harden at the top of the key, somewhere in between the two wings, behind the three-point line, complete isolation. That's the offense. Dan Tony, basically what he did is, basically what, James, uh, what Jan, Dan Tony did is double down on that and did it even more. That's basically what James Harden, what Dan Tony did. That's how his numbers have gotten so inflated. And Dan Tony doesn't make adjustments. He makes none. And James Harden doesn't make adjustments. You remember, after them losing the first two games and bitching about the officiating, and they asked James Harden, are you going to make some adjustments to the officiating? He says, I don't make adjustments. They have to make adjustments to me. This is exactly what he said, people. I'll take my word for it. Look at the tape. He does not make adjustments. The reason why I'm not going to give up on him, and I don't think folks should, is that there are a lot of guys when you look at sports that were labeled chokers, and be, but because they were really great players, they kept getting opportunities to change that. As long as you keep getting opportunities, you can change that. It wasn't that long ago LeBron James was labeled a choker. And deservedly so. Just last year in the playoffs, LeBron was that guy. No pressure. Making game winners. Not giving a fuck. That was LeBron last year. The same guy they used to call Choker. He got enough opportunities to the point where he's comfortable, comfortable with it. None of that's going to bother him anymore. James Harden eventually is going to get to that point. He's going to get to that point because he's going to have more than enough opportunities. I mean, Peyton Manning in football was like that. He was like that, but eventually he got enough opportunities where the shit didn't bother him anymore. Clayton Kershaw is kind of in the same boat. Clayton Kershaw and James Harden, they ain't the same, the same boat right now as far as chokers. But the thing is that's going to help him, he has to make adjustments. One thing he does not do, if you pay attention to any Rocket game, James Harden does not play off the ball. He doesn't go off screens. He never does any of that. He does not go off screens. That's one of the things Jan, um, Kobe Bryant pointed out. And here's another thing. James Harden doesn't even try to play in the post. I'm going to say this again for a fact. James Harden doesn't even try to play in the post. If he can make just those simple adjustments to his game, guess what? The entire defense isn't facing him. If the entire defense isn't facing him, he has a chance for more success. I'm just pointing those couple of things out. He makes simple adjustments in his game. He's going to get more than enough opportunities. Why? Because he's the kind of guy just having him on your team is going to get your squad 50 wins. You get 50 wins, that's going to mean you're going to be a top four seed in the playoffs. Then when you're a top 14 in the playoffs, 
you're rolling the dice. It's on you. In the, these last few years, he makes some shots. Houston could have been champions. They could have been champions. It's just so bad now because you lost to the Warriors without Kevin Durant. But James Harden fans, you want to take your lumps right now? Deservedly so. Don't give up on them. It's me, your boy, Urban Sports Guru. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you feel. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. I'm out. Salute.